distress, a song of sorrow. But how I many know you got to realize in the midst of what you're dealing with, you got to realize that God is for me. Anybody know that today? That God is for me. Uh, can you believe it? Let me hear you say it. Because you're looking a little pitiful in here. I want to say, God is for me. God is for me. See, the devil can't do anything with you when God is for me. So in times, the fourth verse is where we start the text. In God, I will praise his word. In God, have I put my trust. How many know when your trust is not in man's ingenuity? But how many know your trust is in God? I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. How many know the man can determine my destination? The man can determine my, my purpose. How many know that God has me in his hand? And how many know because God has me in his hand that there's nothing the devil can do to me? So it, it says, in times of fear and trouble, we should praise God for his righteousness command. His promises in every sentence he pronounced in the scripture. He let us know that I am for you. And when you know God is on your side, when I got somebody I can go to, I can praise him in a storm. Woo! I can praise him when it's not going well with me. I can praise him when nobody won't say amen. I can praise him. Hallelujah to him. So it goes on to tell us in the, in the scripture as we place our trust in God and his written word, trust replaces fear. Yeah. My God in here. The acronyms of fear is false evidence appearing real. But how many know when you trust in God, fear is eradicated? Right. Ooh, I'm not worried about fear because God got me. Yeah. Ooh, my, 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 I think I'll teach on in here. So God becomes our helper and our deliverer. You got any witness in here? Remember the truth. God is for me. Can somebody say it today? Say, God is for me. God is for me. As I begin to look at verse 5, let's do it like this. Verse 5 says, the word rest. It means that every day they rest my words. All, all their thoughts are against me for evil. You seem like everyone is, is out to get you. But how many know what? God is for you. How many know the enemy keeps sticking you on one side and the other side? And every time you turn around, another issue, another problem arises. But you got to realize, I trust the process. And God is for me. My, my, my. So it says, they rasp my words. Meaning, they forcibly pull something from a person in grasp. How many know the devil want to take what God has given you? My God in here. He want to take away everything God has given you. He wants your peace. He wants your joy. He wants your strength. But you got to make a declaration that God is for me. My, my, my. I think they're going on now. But how many know they try to take it away your peace? How many know they can take peace away because God is the peace giver? Oh my God. You can't have my joy. Oh my God, because I didn't get my joy at Walmart. Oh my God in here. I didn't go to Super Warren or Brooks to get joy. But this joy that I had, the world didn't give it to me. And the world kept it away. Hallelujah in here. As I begin dealing in here, shall they escape by iniquity? No. How many know they're not going to escape because it's a dangerous thing to be messing with a child of God? It's a dangerous thing to handle God's property in a kind of way. Hallelujah in here. A wise preacher told me years ago, he said, son, never run the lie down. But let the liar keep on lying. Because why? After a while, the truth will stand. Can I get a witness in here? How many know everybody? He says, iniquity, immoral people. Hallelujah. Unfair behavior. They are treating me unfair. Yeah. They're not being fair in this situation. Seems like I'm wrapped up. I'm surrounded by enemies. But how many know, and I don't know my way out. But you got to recognize, even when I don't see a way, that God is for me. Yeah. My, my, my. As I begin to look at it, he says, but God sees. Yeah. And God knows 
what I'm going through. God sees and knows, and he records in writing all of our troubles and distress. Ah, I took the pity, I think I preached by myself today. How many know that God knows every trouble you've been in? He's seen you crying over in the midnight hour. He's seen you worry about things that's happening in your life that you don't quite understand. He's seen that you're worrying, you're stressing because you don't know the outcome. But I stopped by to tell you this morning that God is your everything. Say yes. that God. Yes. God is everything that I need. Every tear to shed. Every tear that falls down my cheek. How many know that God is recording me? Mm, good God Almighty. How many realize that he's watching me? He knows and he understands what you're going through. How many know your surrounding group might not understand what you've been through? They don't understand what you're going through. But you got to understand this one point. Your tears is just temporary. Woo! I think I'm going to preach by myself, Brother Sean. Your tears are temporarily. How many know it was just a temporary setback? But God is about ready to bring you back. Because I heard him say in another occasion, I heard him say, we've been made we do it for a night. But joy come to the morning. Say yet yeah to God. Your tears are bottled up in a bottle. How many know that God catches these back the angel to catch your tears? And every time you cry, God gonna replace it with joy. Say yeah to God. And I have to understand this is only a temporary place. This is only a temporary place that I am. But God is getting ready to do something awesome for me. Say yeah to God. How many know that every trial is just a setup for God to do something wonderful in my life? I can't worry about the trouble that I'm in because he is a trouble fixer. He is a mind regulator. He is a company keeper. What is he to you? Can I have anybody who stop by the hope today to know that God has been good to me? I can do like Grandmama said that all of my life God been good to me. He made way out of no way. He's opened doors, closed in my face. Situation. Won't he do it? Won't he make a way? Won't he open a door? Come on and holly in here. Say, God is my everything. And God is for me. Point at yourself and say, God is for me. Don't quit. Don't give up. Because God is for you. And God is really doing for me. For you, how can you know that God is going to bring water in your dry places? God is about to open doors for you, but I owe Him. I owe Him a right now praise. I'm going to praise through this storm. I'm praising Him. It's another day that the Lord has let me live, and I will not allow the devil to stop what God is going to do. Oh, 
victory.